Dag graag gast. Hallo, mijn naam is Mathieu Benoit. Alles voor jullie leren. Samen zullen we turn off several tutorials. Today I'm teaching you very quickly, very briefly, how to shoot a 108 megapixel time lapse on a mobile phone. So, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G, which I'm never going to repeat again because it's way too long, has a built-in 108 megapixel photo mode. Now, this only shoots JPEGs, there's some stuff lying around here, which is not ideal, but it's better than nothing, and it also doesn't allow you to trigger that using the built-in intervalometer. You need a workaround to trigger that photo consistently. Let's loop back a little bit. Time lapses are shot in full manual mode with a consistent interval, and you want to have full control over all your settings, so like ISO, white balance, shutter speed, aperture, all those things, including focus, that's not built into this mode. So what is the workaround? You get a little app on your Android, obviously it's an Android because it's a Samsung, called Intervalometer. Inter Intervalometer. Intervalometer. This simulates or emulates you tapping the screen. It's pretty much a digital overlay and you put a like a crosshair on the shutter button and then you can set up settings like the frequency with which the photos will be taken as well as when it starts and how many photos you will shoot. Pair that with long holding the screen to lock in your focus and your exposure and you're pretty much good to go to shoot a 12k time lapse. I realize that this is quite silly. No one really needs a 12K time lapse shot on a phone, but that's not the point. The point is I wanted to make a video about this. There's actually a third workaround that I almost forgot. These photos are recorded and named with the timestamp. So it's the date and then the hour that they're recorded, which makes sense for a lot of reasons. But if you're a time lapser, you need your sequence to be sequentially numbered. So 001, 002, all the way to however many photos you take. With the date and the time before it, that doesn't work, so you gotta rename the sequence. Now, I teach you how to do that in my ebook about time lapse using Lightroom, which is very, very straightforward and simple, or you can just create a little automated workflow yourself. I've got it here on screen, you can see what it looks like. You ask for finer items and then you tell it to rename them uh, sequentially. I'm not entirely sure if this is something you can do on PC quite easily, but I imagine that there would be something like that. And maybe someone in the comments could drop by and let us know how you do that on a PC. Anyways, now that they are sequential, you drop this into After Effects, you won't have any issues with weird frames because of the file names, and then you create your composition and export it using the codec of your choice. And before you know it, you've got yourself a, uh, a 12K time lapse. That's, it's very simple. I almost feel like I shouldn't make this video because it's so simple, but it is a bit clickbaity and big numbers always do well, so, We'll see how that goes. 108 megapixel time lapse shot on a phone. Anyways, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Big thanks to Samsung for sending me this phone. I really do love it, even though it is a bit heavy and bulky, but it is a beast and I can shoot 12K time lapses with it. So much appreciated. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future videos, let me know. Patreon.com slash Joes for exclusive blooper videos, early access to all of my content, and you just support me as a creator, which is uh, very much appreciated. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. That's it. Thanks for watching, see you on another video. Maybe you can watch another one of my videos. Got some comment stuff, got some other stuff. And if you're not subscribed, you know, subscribe, pretty much. Thanks.